Welcome to section 35 of bacteria. This is our bacteria overview figure, and in this video we'll be discussing three organisms, Enterobacter, Citrobacter, and Serratia marsicans, which you can see right here. Tero is derived from Greek and means relating to wings or having wings. So we've shown a spaceship with a very prominent wing to allude to this idea. Tero sounds like Enterobacter, so the ship with the big wing will be our symbol for Enterobacter. This space fight is conveniently occurring right next to the planet Mars. Mars sounds like Marsicans, so this will be our symbol for Serratia Marsicans. Finally, the other spaceship towards the bottom of the image has several orange pods which house monkey aliens. You can see that they're fiercely fighting at the opposing ship. Anyway, the orange pods look like oranges, which is a citrus fruit. So think of the word citrus, which should help you remember Citrobacter. As you can hopefully tell, we've organized the image in compartments so that all of the information around the spaceship with wings right here is regarding Enterobacter. The information around Mars over here is regarding Serratia marsicans, and the information around the bottom spaceship right here is all about Citrobacter. Hopefully the way we've organized things will allow you to quickly recall information about all three organisms and keep the information straight. Okay, with this in mind, let's continue discussing the image. Notice that we've intentionally made the background very pink and red appearing. This is to help you remember that all three of these organisms are gram negative. This is a gram stain of Enterobacter. As you can see, it appears red or pink under the microscope and is rod shaped. This is why it's a gram negative bacillus. Citrobacter and Serratia are also gram-negative rods, so would look quite similar under the microscope. Okay, with this in mind, let's return to the image. Let's discuss Enterobacter first. Notice that we've shown a red tube coming off of the spaceship. It's red, just like the vasculature, and it's a tube that is similar to a catheter. So putting these two ideas together should help you remember that Enterobacter is associated with intravascular catheter infections. Next, notice that there are a bunch of laser beams being fired at this ship, but fortunately, there is a shield surrounding the ship that's blocking the attack. If you look closely at the lasers, they're oval shaped and kind of resemble the shape of pills. The fact that the lasers are being blocked should help you think of resistance. So putting these ideas together should help you remember that Enterobacter is drug resistant. Okay, now notice that we've added a smaller ship that is flying right next to the larger ship. If you look inside, you can see that a highly advanced monkey is flying this ship. Just like in our Klebsiella video, the monkey represents that the organism ferments lactose on McConkie agar, so monkey for McConkie. Also, the fact that he's traveling fast in the spaceship should help you think of the word fast. So together, these ideas should help you remember that Enterobacter is a fast lactose fermenter. This is a figure of McConkie agar. Recall that the pink color change, which you can see on this side, indicates that the organism ferments lactose. Okay, now notice that we've shown an attractive young woman flying another spaceship. If you look at her rocket boosters, they look like yellow urine, because this ship burns urine as rocket fuel. Just like in our other videos, the girl with the urine next to her is our symbol for urinary tract infection. So Enterobacter causes nosocomial UTIs. Now notice that we've added another cephalopod alien to the scene. The fact that there are two of these aliens should help you remember that Enterobacter is treated with second generation cephalosporins. All right, now that we've covered Enterobacter, let's move on to discuss Serratia marsicans. If you look at the color directly adjacent to Mars, you'll notice that there is a prominent red color. After all, Mars is the red planet, right? Anyway, the red color is here to help you remember that Serratia produces a red pigment. This is an image of Serratia producing a red pigment on a slice of bread. Sometimes you may see an orange or reddish color in your dishwasher, which is caused by the same organism. This is a pretty unique characteristic, so it may show up on step one. Okay, now notice that we've shown a cat constellation right next to Mars. This is here to help you remember that Serratia is catalase positive. This is a picture demonstrating the catalase test, which we covered in more detail in section seven, which was our video on Listeria. Recall that the bubbles indicate that the organism is catalase positive. All right, now we've added another spaceship to the scene. However, unlike the ship that represents Enterobacter, this one doesn't have any wings. Also notice that the ship appears to be damaged and is going quite slow. You can see yellow jet fuel leaking out of the side. Also notice that a monkey is in the back of the ship. Unlike the fast monkey in the other spaceship, this monkey is going slow because its ship has been damaged. So this part of the image is here to help you remember that Serratia is a slow lactose fermenter. Just like with Enterobacter, the young attractive girl with the urine jet fuel next to her is here to help you remember that Serratia can cause UTIs. Finally, just like with Enterobacter, there's also a cephalopod attacking this spaceship. 
Again, the fact that there are two cephalopod aliens should help you recall that Serratia is treated with second-generation cephalosporins. Okay, now let's finish by discussing one point regarding Citrobacter. Notice that the spaceship towards the bottom of the image is also damaged. We can clearly see that it's on fire. The monkeys inside of the ship should make you think of lactose fermentation on McConkie agar, and the slow, damaged ship should make you think of slow. So putting these two ideas together should help you recall that Citrobacter is a slow lactose fermenter. So just to quickly review, all of the information up by the ship with the big wing right here is about Enterobacter. All the information over here is about Serratia marcensis. And the information down here is all about Citrobacter. All right, now that we've covered the organisms, let's review with a question. A six-year-old girl is admitted to the ICU while undergoing treatment for leukemia. An intravascular catheter is placed to provide access for fluid and medication administration. However, two days later, she develops erythema, tenderness, and drainage surrounding the access site. The catheter is removed, but the medical team is concerned about possible bacteremia. Blood cultures are drawn and grow gram-negative bacilli that rapidly ferment lactose when placed on McConkie agar. The most likely causal organism, A, can be effectively treated with ceftriaxone, B, produces a red pigment, C, may cause bloody diarrhea, or D, also causes urinary tract infections. Okay, from the question stem, hopefully you notice that this girl had an intravascular catheter placed, which then became infected. We can deduce this based upon the development of erythema, tenderness, and drainage surrounding the access site. Also, the blood cultures showed gram-negative bacilli that were able to rapidly ferment lactose on McConkie agar. With this information, we should be able to deduce that the question stem is describing enterobacter. So the correct answer is D also causes urinary tract infections. Recall that the red tube right here is here to help you remember that Enterobacter is associated with intravascular catheter infections. The monkey flying fast over here should help you remember that it's a fast lactose fermenter. And finally, the girl with the yellow jet fuel behind her right here should help you remember that it also causes urinary tract infections. A is incorrect because ceftriaxone is a third generation cephalosporin and Enterobacter is notorious for being resistant to this antibiotic. Remember, Enterobacter is treated with second-generation cephalosporins, so A is incorrect. B is also incorrect because Serratia produces a red pigment, but this is a slow lactose fermenter, not a fast lactose fermenter. It's also more commonly associated with urinary tract infections, not intravascular catheter infections, so B is incorrect. Finally, C is incorrect because enteric organisms such as Shigella or E. coli may cause bloody diarrhea, but are not typically associated with intravascular catheter infections. Likewise, Enterobacter is not an infection known to cause bloody diarrhea, so C is incorrect. So again, the correct answer is D. The causal organism also causes urinary tract infections. And with that, we've covered everything you need to know about Enterobacter, Citrobacter, and Serratia marcensis.